Welcome back to mycology exploration. We are about to strain a substrate in a pillowcase. So we will be putting fresh substrate in these tubs and then these jars over here that are colonized will be birthed into these tubs of substrate. But we always get questions on the tubs. So we keep these lids, these tops, for colonization. So you can pour your substrate in. You can even store it for a few days, a few weeks before you birth your colonized jars. So you'll want these lids, these tops, for either storing your substrate or for when it's colonizing within the substrate. So again, it colonizes in the grain, the WBS over here, the wild bird seed first. Then we birth it to the substrate. It'll colonize, so you'll need this top for that process. Here's what we do to make it so easy. We use the same tub for our fruiting tops. So here is the label. It's a 16 quart tub. And then the husband modifies one that will be our fruiting top. So let me show you here in real time, taking this off. And then when we go to fruiting, it will look like this. So the mod, modified a top, modified top for fruiting. And again, you can slide this open for a little bit more air exchange if needed. So it's the same tub. It's the same tub. One is gonna hold your substrate and grow the mushrooms and the other will be your fruiting top. So all it does is it requires you to buy two. Just buy two and they should go together. And you're gonna to wanna to keep some of these. So don't toss these, you'll need those as well. We'll see you in the next one.